Hi and welcome to day 19 of Inktober Tangles Challenge. And today I have a very good friend of mine. It's Banzo by Zentangle. Should I sing? Hello, Banzo, my old friend. Yeah, you know, <laughs> you know the rest. I'm not, I'm not uh, as good in singing as I am in tangling. So I'll just leave it like that. I have this space, little space here, which I need to close with something. And I think a bunzo or two or three might be, well, a start, a good start. And then we will see where it takes me. So I will again zoom in and focus on this specific part. And as you can see, I'm rotating my tile so that I can start my first bunzo right here. And I want to close this gap. And the reason I love bunzo is because it can really take many forms, very similar to mukha in that respect. You can grow it and stretch it in different ways and shapes. And it starts with this kind of a half moon. But uh, now that I have this little like teardrop shape, I will ink it in. And then you can choose to either ink in every other of these rings sections or maybe start inking in at the end and then when you approach the central part you can add these flicks with your pen so that it already looks like there is a highlight in the middle. And this is where, if you have, and you probably have some old pens, this is where they might come in handy. Um, because they are perfect for flicking. And there is not too much space here, but I will start. So I will, this time I'm starting with a teardrop shape. And then because it's such a limited space, I will pretend that a part of this particular banzo is hidden behind the neighboring tangles and shapes. I'm not really making a great effort to draw these flicks neatly because or to, to make these flicks look neat because um, I should, or I would have to rotate my tile to do that. And I kind of don't feel like doing it, but I will know. It's, well, it's a, it's a question if you prefer to do it towards your body or away from your body. It's not the same for everybody. Different fox, fox and different strokes, right? And I think I will add another one or the third one right here. And you can see how it, it will grow exactly the way it should to fill this space here. I'm glad Banzo was here too make good use of these spaces. And then you can decide always whether you want to start with inking in the smallest or leave the smallest as it is and ink in the next one. So now I'm just adding ink and then I will do the flicks. And for the flicks again, I will rotate Maybe I should take my old pen. You know, I uh, I have to tell you a secret, <laughs> which is maybe not a secret. I feel that I'm like lazy to switch my pen a lot. I really like the drawing process, and when once when I 
take a pen, I hate to uh, drop it. So I usually use it for a while. And yeah, now that it would be maybe smart to switch to uh, an old micron, which I have, I kind of just like to stay with the one that I have. And now blending these shades away from the line where I started them. And again, I will apply these shades now to both sides. And I will try to kind of concentrate on releasing my pressure when I'm holding this little pencil again, nesting it in my hand and then I'm applying it, but I'm trying to release the pressure as I remove it from the line so that it's easier to blend it than half of the work of blending is already done. If you try to be mindful about that and it's not always easy to be mindful about anything at least it's what i find to be true um next of course highlights with my little helper and then blend those highlights if you want you don't need to blend them if you don't feel that they don't need blending. And last but not least, the white jelly roll. And now I took another one because yesterday the one that I had was a little bit lazy with releasing the ink. Okay, my banzo is there. Um, I wonder now if I should have maybe left some space and then inked in, ink it in. But okay, now it is what it is. But I'm thinking about another banzo right here, and I think I might do that. So right here I have this black part, so I'm going to start first with the white teardrop shape and then they can be bigger or smaller of course depending on what space you have and I think the last one I will add here and I will ink this in so a big chunk of this one of this big guy is, is hidden behind um, other tangles but it's a nice filler as I said so oops now that i inked in that i need to ink in this but as i said banzo usually starts at least according to the original step outs that i <laughs> which i didn't check now but from what i can remember it doesn't actually start with a teardrop shape it starts with um a half moon shape so it's fine as it is it's actually in line with the step outs i think even though i wanted the first teardrop to be white and then later i just forgot about that okay this is for the inking in which also supports the shading and highlighting later and now i will apply the graphite and again as i move away from the darkest spot i try to release the pressure Finally, some highlights 
and then again a little bit shiniest highlights with my jelly roll pen and that's it my two banzos or my four banzos in two separate spaces um i look forward to see what's next uh, so let's stop here and i will see you tomorrow bye